This is the box to the Delphi Connect offered by Verizon Wireless. And I'll try to get a little closer here so you can see it a little bit better. Basically, it is a uh, device that plugs into your car and uh, you can track all of your important information in your car as well as have a mobile hotspot set up in your car. And um, I'll try to focus. Wow, okay. Much better. Um, so there's just a little, if you want to pause and read that, we're going to move on. <clears throat> um, so that's basically it. It plugs into your car and uh, gives you a lot of neat information I'm going to show you here in a minute. This is the, instra uh, the installation guide. Um, and <laughs> a lot of people in the reviews said that this was not helpful at all and, and completely a waste of time. And uh, the fact is, you have to follow this word for word, because if you don't, you will fail. <laughs> you absolutely have to follow it. That's actually a phone number they gave me that um, I need to, to call if I need help. So, that's good. Um, so, let's, let's uh, not look at the Carmelo bars. <laughs> let's go over here to the computer, and I'll show you the inside view of what we've got. This is basically the main screen for the Delphi Connect. Um, and basically it shows you like your car's mileage below that it would show the fuel level if it supported that and uh, you have to have a new enough vehicle your battery voltage and you know that just lets you know if everything's good you have alerts for like if um, there's certain alerts you can set up which I'll show you those in a second those will come up here then your health goes here let you know if there's any trouble codes and then it monitors your recent trips how far they were what time what day um, there's a map above this but I'm not going to show you that map because it um, has my address on it so that's cool um, the button up here at the top says location um, that basically just shows you where the car is located you can do live tracking you can set up geofences as you would expect with a vehicle tracking system next is alerts which um, again is going to show you absolutely nothing because obviously there's nothing to show uh, same with health in recent trips um, you're given an itemized summary of everything that happened and I'll show you one of these right here I went and got the oil change yesterday in my car and you can see that happened at 343 to 344 um, which was just one minute and this was them moving the vehicle from inside the garage to outside so as you can see here um, you know, it tracked the location, there's the building that it was in, and it tells you that the trip was for zero miles, um, what time it started, there's the address to where it was, um, the end time, the address to where it ended, and then the engine idled for 12 minutes while the vehicle was not moving. Um, another great feature that I absolutely love, I had a lot of trouble getting this set up, um, but it's all about knowing what you're doing. <laughs> this is a key fob that works just like your normal car key fob. Um, basically, ooh, I went out of focus there. If you have a remote start, you can start the engine, lock, unlock, pop the trunk, blow the horn, or you can turn the engine off if you have the remote start. My car does not have the remote start, but it has everything else, so all of these buttons work just like a normal remote control basically it sends a hit to the device and the device acts as a key fob and sends it over remote frequency as it would in your car when you normally do it with the you know the ones that came with the car you can do this on the website or with the app which I will show you in a moment when we go out to the car let's get back to um, what we can do here so basically um, this is just managing like uh, there, I don't know why I'm listed twice, but apparently I have two mobile devices on this account. Uh, it tells me when I paired them, stuff like that. Um, the module itself, management, there's, you know, information on it, which you probably, you know, can destroy things with. Uh, here are the alerts, and basically you, you can manually set these uh, as to what you want it to alert you on. But there's speed, and if you open it up, it tells you the speed threshold is um, not visible 75.2 so if the car goes past 75 miles per hour it will send a text message saying hey your car is speeding so that's a thing um, and you click the wrong button 
Uh, engine RPMs are set to 4,000 RPMs. The check engine light, if anything ever, you know, the check engine light comes on, it will tell me exactly what's wrong with it. Uh, battery level gets below 11 volts, it will alert me on that. And motion, I thought was pretty cool. Um, you can set your threshold, and I don't understand, I don't understand the motion G's and all this other bunch of stuff, but at 2.03 G, it will uh, alert my phone that the car has been um, bumped or crashed into or however you want to to say that so anyways we're gonna go now uh, to outside I'm gonna go with the app and we'll have a look there so this is the app and it's really hard to see in the daylight so we'll switch straight to the car here um, it's basically the same thing as what you've seen on the computer I'll go straight to the key fob and we'll go over here to the car and uh, as you can see doors are currently locked um, and I'll just hit the unlock button on the phone and then I'll hit yes and now the door unlocks the little delay um, and to unlock the door all the doors you have to hit twice with my car so you have to send the command twice really fast and usually it doesn't do it fast enough to do it so <laughs> so that's a little bit annoying um, another thing with locking the car you do this and my car has a if you lock it twice it will do a chirp to let you know the car is locked so you're sitting here trying to spam this button twice and as you can see it's not that easy to do that see I didn't get it fast enough it didn't chirp same with unlocking see I can't I can't get it with the confirmation that pops up do you want to do this it's just uh, it's too slow now you can actually link your phone up to Bluetooth Let's see if we can pull that off right quick I don't know if you can see the phone I'm not looking through the camera for the simple reason of I know it's just <laughs> insane to try and do um, <clears throat> you can link your phone to Bluetooth to the car but um, that gets annoying okay I don't actually have it saved in here so I can't do that right now um, it gets annoying because as I'm sitting at the computer the car comes in range of the phone randomly and so it's like hey do you want to communicate with your car now and it just pops up on your phone every five seconds just hey do you want to do this it does have the trunk pop feature which I can use And as you heard the trunk pop my trunk has this wing on it so it doesn't lift itself up but um, <clears throat> just one more thing about the car so um, so yeah I, I don't, that's the hard part is, is uh, trying to hit the button twice because you need to hit it twice and um, I, like I said earlier it doesn't have the remote start so I looked into trying to get um, an aftermarket remote start installed in the car that would work with this uh, unfortunately the only one they have that would work with this is a system where if you lock the doors three times and within like a 10 second interval it would start the car if you if you lock it twice it beeps the horn three times would start the car unfortunately if I can't lock it two times within 10 seconds with this three times definitely would not work so um, it has its fallbacks and disadvantages but um, the great part about this particular feature where I can use my phone is it works everywhere I could be halfway across the country anywhere and I would still be able to unlock my car that's a great plus to me anyways I've only had this system for about 24 hours now and I really am liking it I'll do a more in-depth review if I come to any new conclusions afterward but at this point I think it's a great buy I did get the uh, 199 version that does put a Wi-Fi hotspot on my car so anywhere I go I'll have Wi-Fi and uh, you can actually set that to time out up to two hours after you turn your car off anyways I'm gonna go inside and try to get this video up for you guys hope you enjoyed it I just want to give you guys one more look at this keypad you have on your phone I know you couldn't see it outside basically when you hit lock it does are you sure and then yes and then it pretty much freezes everything until it can get the confirmation that the car did the command so by the time you try to hit it again and go through that entire process you've waited too late and you don't you're with it you're outside your 10 second thing anyways that's all I wanted to show you I knew you couldn't see it outside